Solar chargers are ideal for isolated pastures or temporary corrals where no electrical outlets are available. You can find solar chargers small enough to keep rabbits out of your garden, large enough to contain bulls, and everything in between. This video will walk you through the basics of installing a solar charger for your electric fence. The most crucial step for solar charger operation begins before installation. Solar chargers come with one or two pre-installed batteries that need to be charged. To ensure optimal battery life, place the charger in the sun in the off position for three days before turning it on to properly charge the battery before your first use. These batteries store the energy the solar panels produce from the sun. A fully charged solar battery can last up to two weeks without sunlight. And with proper care, these batteries will last three to four years before they need replaced. Once the battery has been charged, identify an ideal location for the charger. Mount the charger off the ground in a location that receives full sunlight throughout the day. Face the solar panels toward noontime sun, which is south in the northern hemisphere. Make sure the solar panel is not covered with shade from nearby trees or buildings. Also, occasionally clean the solar panels to clear debris. You will want to keep your solar charger near your grounding rod setup to minimize the length of your hookup wires. And to maximize power throughout your fence, position the solar charger in the middle of your fence so the end of the fence line is never too far away from the charger. Before you switch your charger to the on position, connect your ground wire to the ground terminal. Look for this symbol on your charger. Then connect the wire to a ground rod system using insulated wire and ground rod clamps. Next, connect the fence wire to the fence terminal. Again, look for the symbol on your charger. After both connections have been made on your charger, you can now turn the unit on. To confirm the unit is working, look for a light on the charger and use a voltage or fence tester to determine if you have the adequate voltage on your fence line. Solar chargers use a simple technique to energize a pasture or enclosed area. The sun shines on the solar cells and these cells transfer the energy into a battery. The battery stores the energy to be released on your fence lines. When the charger is turned on, Voltage is sent through the fence wire. Once you've confirmed adequate voltage for your system at multiple points along your fence line, you've successfully installed your charger. Solar fence systems are relatively hands-off in terms of maintenance after installation. You'll want to monitor your voltage levels occasionally. This helps get ahead of potential voltage loss on your fence lines from external factors like weed growth, weather-related events, or other objects pulling the fence power down. With proper installation and maintenance, you'll have a successful animal containment solution that will keep your animals safe for years to come. Hopefully, this video has cleared up a few questions on your solar fence charger installation. If you have additional questions, give us a call at 855-592-7322.